Jemana, what do we know then at this point about the strike? Yeah, good morning, Tom. Well, ever since Iran's unprecedented attack on Israel last weekend, there's been rampant speculation as to how Israel were looking to respond. And indeed, it seems like the response has come overnight. Now, explosions were heard around uh, Iran's third largest city, Isfahan, very early in the morning. Shortly afterwards, U.S. officials confirmed that, indeed, Israel had launched an attack on Isfahan. Details are still fuzzy at this point, but what we do understand is that the target of this specific attack was the airbase, the airbase in Isfahan, which actually was the same airbase that Iran used to launch those drones and those missiles that they used last weekend for their attack on Israel. Now, uh, at this point, what we are hearing from Iranian state officials is that they are downplaying the extent of this attack. They were very quick to say that none of their nuclear facilities had been targeted. There was no harm there. And that, of course, caused a bit of a turnaround in market because initially there was some concern that Israel were going to go after those nuclear facilities. Uh, and they're recently just saying moments ago, Iranian local media Tasnim has also said that there are no reports of an attack from uh, abroad on, it, on Iran's central city of Isfahan or any part of the country and that Iran's own air defense system uh, was the uh, was the source of all of that noises. So again, details are very fuzzy mm. at this point. But analysts are quick to point out that if this is indeed the Israel response to those unprecedented Iranian attacks on Israel last weekend, then they are deemed to be quite limited and proportionate in nature. But of course, it is up to the Iranians at this point on how they will choose to respond. Yeah, and give us a little bit more detail then, Jamana, in terms of in terms of that potential uh, Iranian re response and, and and the implications. Yes, so the Iranian state media have actually denied that a Security Council meeting is taking place at this point. So we haven't had anything from Iranian leadership. All that we can parse together is what we're hearing from Iranian state media. And as I just said earlier, uh, they have been denying reports of extensive damage within the country. But what we do know is that Israel themselves are preparing themselves for a possible retaliation. Uh, we know that the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem uh, staff there have been warned about the possibility of a retaliation as well. But again, as we were just referring to, because this at this point appears to be a very limited strike on one specific military base, perhaps it could be uh, deemed insufficient enough to worry a significant response from Iran. The background, of course, yesterday, the Iranian foreign minister was speaking at the Security Council, and he warned Israel against further adventurism. Whether or not this qualifies as adventurism, again, remains to be seen. Mm. It is a fast-moving story.